Hey family, welcome to another edition of Capital Jazz TV. I have the pleasure of being joined today by a vocalist who has torn this boat apart. <laughs> yeah, the boat part, not the ship section, <laughs> but the boat part. I'm talking about the one and only Alicia Olatuja. Welcome to the Capital Jazz Super Cruise. Well, thank you so much for having me. And this is your first time. Yes, it is my first time on the cruise and my first time on a cruise. Oh, wow. Period. Yes. Okay, okay. And it's extra special because you have your mother here with you as I well. I did. I brought my mom with me. We call her Mommy. Mommy. Uh, and this has been her first cruise as well wow. and first, obviously, Capital Jazz Cruise. Okay. So yeah. a lot of firsts going yes, on. Yes, a week of firsts. Have you been able to interact with a lot of the guests? Yes, I've actually met a lot of people, obviously, when there's so many incredible musicians and people here. I've gotten a chance to meet some really great people, but also I have a few friends on deck. Nice. So that's been great because as musicians, you know, we travel so much and, you know, we rarely get a chance to see each other. Right. And so now we are on this boat. Like Noah's Ark, we're not going anywhere. Right. And so finally we get to catch up and hang like we've been promising to do for so long. A little party amongst friends. Yes, a big party. <laughs> yeah. So who, um, what's, what's one of your favorite performances so far? Well, one of my dear friends, her name is Lauren Talese, and she opened up for Layla. And Layla's one of my favorite yes. artists. But it was just so great to see the two of them share an evening in a sense. You know, Lauren opened up for her and, and Lauren... Lauren, she writes a lot of her music, and she was working with an incredible piano player named Toru Dodo, who actually works in my band as well. Oh, okay. I didn't even know he was coming on the cruise, wow. so it's like surprise. But just hearing her, hearing them together, which I've never heard before, was just such a beautiful experience. And I was smiling so hard. I told her I was smiling so hard, my gums were dry by the end of the show. So, yeah, that was me. <laughs> so you, um, you hit stardom couple of years ago on the world stage yes president barack obama's second inauguration yes yes you perform with the brooklyn tabernacle choir mm -hmm. you're sitting there with hundreds of thousands watching in front of you yes. millions watching worldwide mm -hmm. did that experience let you know that you know what i'm meant to be here well i kind of felt like I had prepared myself to get there. See, the thing is, a lot of us, we think about one particular thing as like, oh, that's your breakthrough performance or that's your, your breakthrough moment or your big break. But really, you spend your whole life prior to those situations taking the steps to get there. So it's not like a huge jump into those moments. It's actually just the next step. That's why you have to always be ready, right. you know, so you don't have to get ready. And so for me, I just felt it was a very natural transition, but I knew that it was an opportunity that I would never get again mm. and that no one I've ever known has ever had before. And it's, you know, it's a historical event. Right. So it was a bigger thing than just me. It was this, I was just a little patch of fabric in this huge historical moment. And so that's kind of what that felt like for me. So I felt ready. I felt like I should be there. And that was what I had to tell myself in order to not fall on the floor with nice. a panic attack. So yeah, that was, that was the truth. <laughs> so in uh, 2014, your album Timeless came out. Yes. Incredible project. I immediately fell in love with it. Thank Human you. Nature, one of my favorite yeah. tunes on there. Yeah, it's one of Talk my to tunes. us about this CD and who you work with on it. Well, Timeless was a was my maiden voyage, keeping with the whole boat theme. Um, and uh, it was my first uh, debut album, but also my first solo album, because I had done albums with other artists before, um, collaborative projects and things like that. But um, it was an album that I really wanted to put together Tunes, reimaginings of tunes, so rearrangements of tunes by, by um, artists that have influenced me my whole life. And I've had such a huge, wide range of influences. So on Timeless, you know, there was songs by, we did tunes by Shaka Khan, Stevie Wonder, and Michael Jackson was one of the ones. Um, and we decided to do Human Nature because I, I remember just singing that so hard and passionately as a kid. So I, I decided to put like a little spin on it and, and I worked with so many great arrangers and, and just beautiful musicians. So that one really sticks out because everybody knows that one, right? right. But um, some, some of the other ones that we use were tunes that for, by incredible composers and artists that aren't as known. Like some of the tunes that we use for Stevie Wonder, 
but human nature, everybody knows human nature, right? <laughs> so I, I really love what we did with it. And we did it actually at the show a few nights ago. Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> and I know you, you gained a lot more new fans after Yay! that show. Yay! Hopefully that was the plan. <laughs> Some of the feedback you got from folks. Well, actually, just on my way here, I was stopped a few times. Really? Yes, because, I mean, everybody on the ship is just, I mean, the most beautiful people I've ever met. And so they're very warm and very open. And they don't just say, hey, good job, and keep it moving. Like, they're like, let me tell you my favorite part and why I think it was great and why I felt connected to it. And that really matters because, you know, we get up on stage, we sing and we perform and then we go on. Sometimes you don't always know what the effect is. And usually after a show, I love to go out and I usually sell merchandise and I take pictures and I talk to people because I want to make that connection. But I wasn't able to do that on this one because I've sold out of merchandise before I got on the ship. <laughs> Because I'm on tour right now. Gotcha. So actually getting a chance to connect with people, just walking here, different venues, eating dinner. It's awesome because you yeah. get a chance to see what the effect is. And so far, they've been telling me really beautiful things. You and I had a conversation right after the show. Yes. And I told you that you are remarkable in the fact that in the, in the way that you work your eyes <laughs> and your smile during your performance, you give equal time to each and every person out there. Try. And it made me feel like you were singing to me. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I mean, really, everybody is important. And when you go into a, a venue, you're not just, you know, some people may do the blank uh, wash because maybe that helps with nerves. I mean, pe people have many different reasons why they perform the way they perform. But for me, when I'm performing, I'm really trying to connect with every individual in the audience because that one individual makes up the whole, right. you know? And you never know who you're singing to. True. And I feel like you should always be singing, not just to the people in the front, but to the person way in the back row because that person may have just found out that they have cancer or they may have just found out that, you know, some other news that has put them in a vulnerable place. And you want to be able to find a person to connect with and to heal with the music. Most so it's important to really genuinely connect. And you do an amazing job <laughs> at that. Alicia Olatu excuse me, Alicia yes. Olatuja <laughs> has a brand new CD, Intuition, Music from the Minds of Women. It is celebrating some of the great songwriters out there, female songwriters, everyone from Sade to Angela Bofill, as well as... Uh, Brenda Russell. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Real quick, how did you go about selecting the artist number one and mm. then the tunes? Well, that was actually quite challenging, I'm to sure. be honest. Um, I, for me, it was a matter of trying to find tunes where the subject matter kind of painted a rainbow of the, the, the woman experience, the feminine experience, which is, I mean, come on, it's so intricate and, and beautifully complicated. So just trying to find tunes that speak about love, intimacy, divorce, wow. um, a loss of a child, or um, feeling vulnerable, or um, moving on and getting over somebody, or having that strength and saying, you know, you better give me a reason to stay here, because uh -uh. I'm getting out of here if you don't. Uh -uh. So it's all That's of those things. And so that really helped me figure out what songs to look for as far as content gotcha. then it came from doing this list of, of incredible female composers that I really wanted to to celebrate on the album and I was specifically looking for songs that were written just by women so many collaborations are done right. and that's beautiful but I really wanted to do tunes that were just written solely by a female composer and so most of the tunes are those and yeah Brenda Russell Tracy Chapman Sade Joni Mitchell yes. I mean yeah it was it was an honor really you have got to check the sister out Alicia Olatuja brand new album out she's aboard the Capital Jazz Super Cruise her very first time hopefully not her last no I hope not <laughs> the bass man hanging out with Alicia Olatuja right here on Capital Jazz TV peace Ha, ha, ha.